You're watching the Geico ESPN High School Basketball Showcase. Presented by Buick. One game remains at the Spalding Hoopal Classic here in Springfield, and it includes a team lauded as maybe the best high school team ever. Montford Academy from Central Florida battling McEachern from near Atlanta. Ted Emmerich, Paul Biancardi. Now McEachern, Paul, boasts one of the top point guards in America, Sharif Cooper. Well, Cooper is speedy, and he scores the ball at a high level. 6-1. Gets to the rim, exciting in the open floor. Loves the challenge. This guy has all the tools to put up big numbers. You want exciting? Sharif Cooper delivers on the offensive end. Cooper has signed with Auburn, ranked 19th in the ESPN 100. Top five point guard in the country. His sister, Taya, has made her way from Tennessee to South Carolina and now playing at Baylor, averaging 15 points a game for Kim Mulkey's team, a McDonald's All-American in her day, 2015. Cooper hopes to be one. We'll find out this week. For more on Cooper, we send it over to Adam Finkelstein. Well, guys, I talked to Sharif before the game. He said this game is personal. After what happened in this matchup just a month ago, the opportunity to run it back, and especially the one-on-one -on -one matchup between him and Cade Cunningham is something he has had circled on his calendar. He's got lots to prove here today, and he's talked to his teammates about having a big performance. Uh, Adam, it was December 21st in the City of Palms tournament in Fort Myers, Florida. Monford beat McEachern 99 to 48. 51 point victory. How do you see that matchup individually, Cooper and Cunningham today? That, that's a tough matchup for Cooper because of the size and strength. Dayron Sharp opens the scoring with a bucket for Montford, which is in the black, McEachern in the white, and here is Cooper. Yeah, Montford has NBA size, whether it's the front court or the back court. Scotty Barnes, Kate Cunningham, and Dayron Sharp, NBA bodies. And again, you see Cunningham one in the black following Cooper. Cunningham has the size. Can Cooper use his speed? Yeah, he's going to have to use his speed and quickness. They need to run him off screens. So Cunningham runs into screens, maybe gets knocked down, gets knocked over. You just can't stand there and spot up. Cade Cunningham is, is really locked in on the defensive end. Look at him trying to deny the ball to Sharif Cooper. One to shoot. Cooper didn't get it off. This team has played in events that have a shot clock. Sharif Cooper's got to know that. See the Montford starting lineup. All five are ESPN ranked players, including Moses Moody, who had three threes last night with the win over IMG. And he's got a three early tonight. Tell you what, if you're Eric Musselman, you're real happy right now. You got Moses Moody playing real well. KK Robinson was tremendous. I just posted on Twitter how efficient his game was. Nine for 10 from the field. Randy Brady with the first points for McKeecher. You talk, I'm sorry, you talked about Montford. High major talent in the starting five. High major. Again, eight ESPN ranked players overall. Caleb Houston, another one of them. He really got it going in the first half against IMG with 11 of his 13 points. He's got some incredible upside to his game. Long, lanky, and maybe the best shooter on this Montford team. And he wins Montford's lunchtime shooting competitions, according to his coach, Kevin Boyle, beating even Moses Moody, who blocks the shot there. Overall, Paul, eight ESPN-ranked players for Montford. That's the most of any team in the country. I'll tell you what, under Kevin Boyle, Montford really defends. Moses Moody got beat. Nice recovery for the block. You got Scotty Barnes and Cade Cunningham, two of the absolute best defenders in the high school game. Again, late in the shot clock, this is going to be another turnover. Wow. And that's the way Kevin Boyle coaches the game. He coaches defense first and effort. And then the offensive part of it will come. He knows they can get points from their defense. How about that pass from Cunningham to Sharp, who converts. How about that second jump by De'Ron Sharp? Now Sharp commits the foul. Just a total class act, Roy Williams. Yeah. Now it's been a tough year at North Carolina. And Cole Anthony's been out for a good part of it, but Roy is a class act. Cade Cunningham with a three. That's three threes in the early going for Montford. And that's a part of his game that has really taken off the jump shot. Cade Cunningham now does it from deep. 
Sharif Cooper finding Randy Brady, who missed from the outside. Cunningham leading the break. Barnes, the touch feed to Moody. This is Montverde basketball. As he said when he committed November 5th, blood is thicker than water. Now off the steal, Barnes with his first basket. And there's some blood in the water yeah. right now. And again, Montford, they smell it <laughs> already. Uh, to finish that story, of course, Oklahoma State, Mike Boynton hired Kate's brother, Cannon, as an assistant coach. Moody drills the three. Timeout for McEachern. All season long, the turnover game. Look at Scotty Barnes. Yep. He's bringing the ball up. He, he's close to 6'9 now. There's no pressure on him, but he's comfortable initiating the offense. Point forward. How about this skip feed to Houston? I don't remember two passers so highly ranked that can score the ball and defend like Scotty Barnes and Kate Cunningham. Moody, the interception, and a hard foul. He exits Dariq Whitehead, top 10 sophomore in the country, comes on, number zero in the black. McDowell, a three. From a Cooper regains control. Dow couldn't hit his second three. Rebound for Ryan Nemhard. And there's love for two more off the window. In addition to playing outstanding defense on Jaden Springer. And that's what he does. He impacts the game with his defense, offensive vision, playmaker. And now he's become a little bit of a shot maker. When I say a little bit, I mean from deep range. In the middle game, he's fabulous. Yeah. Well, he's more consistent. Again, late in the shot clock, McEachern. McDowell short from distance. And remember, Kate Cunningham is a 6'7 point guard. That, that's huge, especially on the defensive side. Cooper off the steal, knocked out of bounds by Barnes. Still Dayron Sharp is a good post defender. Langston Love who's in the game right now, 13 in the black. He's an excellent defender. These guys are good individually, and they are good collectively. Shot clock dark, 15 seconds. Oh, Love was trying to punch it. Got blocked by the rim. Cooper with time, racing down the floor. It right. may not be talent. Crap shoot. It right. may not be talent that gets to the Final Four or wins a national championship. It could be experience. It could be that mid-major type team like Butler did in 2010. Right. I'm sorry, 2000 and... No, you're, I mean, they made the run. They in, made the in run. In 2010, yeah, lost. Duke Gordon Hayward, yeah. right. Duke Gordon Hayward had the shot from half court. But they got there. Yeah. Zep yeah. And of course, returned in 2014. Lost to UConn. Zep Jackson with the jumper there, headed to Michigan. Part of the number four recruiting class in the country for 2020. I'll tell you what, Seton Hall is really sneaky. Oh, Miles Powell? Oh, my gosh. M might be the best player. In America. Jackson. And Derek Whitehead brings it back out. Number eight player in the sophomore class. Nemhard, no. Wow. How about Dayron Sharp on the offensive glass? Paul, he had eight offensive rebounds last night against IMG. And he goes every single time. When I watch Dayron Sharp off the ball, 23 in the black, I'm watching activity. Langston Love knifing to the basket for two. He's got six. And he is on Sharif Cooper. Great matchup here between Love and Cooper. Cooper held to just two points in the first quarter. That bucket came near the end. Off the spin, Nemhard knocked it out. Down the lane, and a foul is called. I mean, don't count them out. They, they don't look good now, but it's too early to count anybody out. There's too many games left, and there's too much practice time. I think a lot of people thought that Anthony was going to shut it down, Paul, but he put it out on social media. I can't wait to be back on the floor with my teammates. Well, that's going to be not just a talent lift, but an emotional lift for the Tar Heels. On the break, Sharp, a vicious dunk. He's got eight. Montbird is just lethal in transition. Everyone, not just a skilled passer, but a willing passer on top of that. An accurate passer. Yep. 
Not a lot of turnovers by Montford. Bobby Moore, the bucket for McKeecher. Look at 23 in the black. He just runs rim to rim, stays right in the paint. Signed with Michigan. He's part of that class with Isaiah Todd, Hunter Dickinson. Jens Ruckert, Jr. with the three from the corner for McKeecher. Yeah, that's a big time class for Juwan Howard. Yeah, number four in the country. Cunningham off the spin, the floater is good. Put the ball in the deck from the top of the key and look bad. Now he just stays in his lane, does his job. He's great at what he's good at. Houston, great from deep, missed it this time though. Ball is loose, picked up by Cameron McDowell. Here's Cooper, headed to Auburn. The one ESPN ranked player in the lineup for McKeecher. And McDowell buries the three. Cooper the penetration, and he found his teammate. No, I like the decision by Sharif Cooper. Didn't force it, found his teammate. Good job. Oh, the answer from Langston Love. We remember Zion a couple of years ago playing here at the Hoop Hall Classic with Spartanburg Day School from South Carolina. Had 36 and a losing effort to Chino Hills and Onyeka Okongwu, who's now at USC. And I think Zion Williamson was coming off of an injury. He was. He missed the month of November, was out of shape, and still dropped in 36. Okongwu was fabulous in that game. He's doing great things at USC. Love again. He wanted to come to Montford, play the best. He's playing against the best in practice. Caleb Houston knocks down the three. The sophomore with eight points. This has got to be really tough. For it is when you don't get the help that you need when you're playing this type of opponent. It can get frustrating, but you just have to continue to try to help your team win the game. You don't have to play hero basketball. Tariq Whitehead hitting the three there for Montford. Braden Sparks, sophomore guard. It's not about that. You have to be a psychology major too, right? Dayron Sharp, by the way, just picked up his fourth personal, stays out there. Psychology major, you gotta watch a lot of film with these guys. And you gotta spend time with them. You have to connect with them if you're gonna coach them. By the way, Rick Carl about Lyle with the Mavericks, psychology major at Virginia. Work uses it well. Cunningham lays it home. Two reasons. One, he can score. Two, he can pass out of the post. You can put him different spots on the floor and he can deliver. He's got the frame. It's 6'7, 215. Yeah, and he was a quarterback in high school, which makes him in middle school. Yeah. Middle school. It makes him tough, makes him smart, and he can read the floor. His dad, Keith, a quarterback at Texas Tech in the 80s. Cooper misses the three from McKeechern. Out to Cunningham. Two more, easy as you please. Oh, Sharp came up with the steal. How about that? Went behind his back. Two on one. Moody, the layup. Montverde puts on a clinic night after night. They just play the game the way it's supposed to be played. They don't look at the score and say, oh, we're up 40 points. You know, we can start to be casual with the basketball and not play as hard. No, that, that's not the way Kevin Boyle coaches. Moody blocked that shot. He that blocked it again. Oh, Randy nice. Brady, offensive foul. How about the work of Moody, who is known as a sharpshooter? And he gets the offensive foul called on McKeechan. Outstanding. And, and Kevin Boyle will hold these guys accountable. He's not afraid to sit, guys. And he's not worried about their reaction or their poutiness. A lot of stars can complain when they don't play. They try to do what they want. Some coaches let them do whatever they want. That oh. guy can do whatever he wants <laughs> in the paint. <laughs> One of four Montverde Eagles in double figures. Yeah, a lot of bigs have to catch it, then they gather. Uh, he's quick to the rim and powerful. Look at Scotty Barnes, 11 in the black, just denying Sharif Cooper. Almost making it a four on four game. Cunningham. Oh, trying to lob it to Barnes. Cunningham said, why don't you dunk it already? So Barnes just did. 
Bruce Pearl does a great job of going into the state of Georgia, pulling out some top prospects. You know, Cooper says he's recruiting Jalen Green for Auburn. Yeah, Green, uh, Green looking at Auburn, Memphis, Oregon. The new poll today, matching up with Oklahoma. There's a 14-game winning streak. Came back from down a dozen. He's played so well for Auburn as a freshman. He's been outstanding. What a great defender Okoro is. McDowell. Ooh, buries a three. Cooper found him. McDowell now with 11. First player in double digits for McEachern. Yeah, 6'5", junior. Has an offer from Virginia Tech. Zeb Jackson with a three ball from Montford. Kevin Boyle says Jackson is finding his way. Yeah, he, sometimes he gets lost in the shuffle with all the other ranked players. But Jackson is really contributing tonight. 8.6 boards. Sharif plays with a lot of freedom, a lot of confidence. That's the way Bruce Pearl coaches the game. He really lets his players go in the open floor. They have to play it on the defensive end first. And Cooper's got to make a greater commitment to that side of the game. But I'll tell you what, he is clever and quick on the offensive end. Just a second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Let's see if he locks in here. On Zeb Jackson. Not bad. Oh! Jackson drills him. The motor that he had as a sophomore lost it a little bit as a junior. Boy, as he brought it back in a big time way. He, he plays with a nastiness every game. At one point was the number two player in his class. Dropped to 11, moved up to eight, and could move up. We'll find out Wednesday on ESPN.com. Michael Wu into the shot clock. No, doesn't count. The shot clock ran out. Nice post up by Michael Wu. You like Wu, 6'7 junior. Yeah, 6'7 junior. Had him at my basketball camp. He loves to play, plays hard. He's a good rebounding big. He just keeps improving. How about this? That was only the fifth oh, turnover of the day for Montford. Yeah, they don't they don't give it away. Michael Wu. I mean, think about him in practice going against Scotty yeah. Barnes, Cade <laughs> Cunningham. Langston Love, he's got to cover Caleb Houston. I mean, he can improve tremendously just by practice. Three-pointer for McEacher. And Moore hits his second three. Derek Whitehead short. Love. Oh, he's back to the basket. That was tricky. Couldn't finish. Here's Cooper. Oh, blocked by Michael Wu. A lot of these guys that are in the game right now from Montverde, they don't get a lot of time. Michael Wu, Langston Love has come off the bench a little yep. bit. Zeb Ryan, Jackson even. Yeah, yeah Ryan Nebhard. These guys are hungry to play. And that's the way it should be. I, I really like Ryan Nebhard, younger brother of Andrew Nebhard, point guard of Florida. I mean, Andrew was one of the best passing point guards that I've seen in a long time. And Ryan is got a real steady game. I like the way he gives it up. Starting to shoot it better from the outside. Plays his summer ball for you play Canada. He's getting some high major looks. Only a junior. Randy Brady at the floater for McEachern. Yeah, Andrew was the perfect point guard to play with R.J. Barrett a couple of years ago on a team that went undefeated here at Montverde. It was perfect because he always passed R.J. the yeah. ball. <laughs> and R.J. scored it. Andrew would pass it, R.J. would score it. Nice. Oh, Michael Wu scoring it for Montverde. His first basket. And how about the reaction? You see Moses Moody, among others on the bench, getting excited. That's you noticed that in Dallas earlier this season. Yeah, this team is really connected, Montverde. They cheer each other on. They don't count who gets the minutes. They just count the wins. McDowell, the jump stop, and the finish. Yeah. Nicely done for the junior. And yeah, McDowell's had a, a good second half. Good looking player, 6'5", junior. Has an offer from Virginia Tech. There's Ryan Nemhard. Couldn't hit the floater. Now 
jumpers for McEachern. And the dunk. Sports Center, 11 Eastern on ESPN. Love how Tim Legler teaches the game, just like you do. No, Coach he, yeah, he's he was a great player, boy. Of course, Montverde doesn't have their starting five in, but their their third string's pretty good too. Yeah, they were down 26 at the break. McDowell with 15 points. Love, all oh, behind the back, the escape dribble. We've got a piece of it. A Keatron controls. Home run pass to Jens Ruckert. Moore all the way down the floor to Ruckert. And Cunningham the floor. How about King? And facilitating so he doesn't have to score to impact the game. Just think about this if you're Kevin Boyle. You've got two guys that can win you games without even scoring points. And Scotty Barnes. Oh, Ryan Nemhard on the highlight reel. And look at the bench. Okay, young fella. I see you. I don't think some I don't his think teammates I'm... thought that he could get up like that. He's listed at six feet. He could do that in a game. I don't think anybody was expecting that. Oh, look out. One more. This time the layup. <laughs> his teammates wanted another one. <laughs> he, he turned on the Jets like he was going to punch it again. Montverde doing what they've done all season long. Just continue to punish the opponents. More from the outside. A rainbow three. Chance Moore with the triple. Player who just moved in this month from Holy Innocence Episcopal in Atlanta. And that does it here in Springfield. The Montverde machine marches on. 94-65 the final over McEachern. Montverde is now 19-0. That wraps up a fantastic day at the Spalding Hoopal Classic for Paul, Adam, and our entire crew. Ted Emmerich saying so long from Springfield.